So Grand Junction's nickname is Spun Junction because of the amount of meth that is here. When you come here, anywhere you go, you can get meth, anywhere. I moved to Denver and was in Denver for 20 years and I didn't see half as much drug use in Denver as what I have seen in one year back here. There's high school kids buying drugs off of school property and taking them onto school property. I didn't use drugs until after I went to prison. And my brothers, my mom, my sisters, everybody in my family did meth. I was the one in the family that didn't do meth, didn't do anything wrong. And somehow I ended up in prison and they didn't. I was married by the time I was 13 and had my first son. My, my mother dropped my younger brother and sister off at my house and she didn't want my little brother and little sister to be around her sober, so she was placing meth in their drinks and their food and everything, so they would be just as high as she was. That was my first knowledge of even knowing what meth was. It consumes you. It takes away everything you've ever known in your entire life because you forget your morals, you forget your ethics, and it's just you and that drug. And then pretty soon it just becomes the drug. You don't even know who you are anymore. I run, I, I used to hide in my drug, I'm bipolar. And to me, it was a way of escaping reality. I guess I'm what they call a person that's a choice addict. I could choose to have it or I could choose to walk away from it. Most people get addicted to the chemical. I got addicted to the invisibility. And I just continued hiding in that. It was easier to hide in my addiction than it was to go home and face my family and get sober and prove to them that I could be who they wanted me to be because I couldn't be who they wanted me to be. I had to be me and they didn't want me to be me. I got a $80 bag, which normally a normal meth user would last on about a month. And I did it all in one day because I was tired. It just, you don't sleep, you don't eat, you don't drink, and you hallucinate. And my hallucinations got so bad that even while I was sitting in the house by myself, I swore somebody was watching me. Somebody was there. I couldn't take it anymore. So I did all of it to try to end my life on purpose. I'm clean and sober today. So um, right now I'm currently homeless due to some circumstances. And don't do it. <laughs> it. As tempting as it may sound, there's other things out there. Even God is more powerful than that drug. And you have to choose to lose your life or gain your life. Because if you use that method, you're gonna lose your life, period.